Hello everybody, Lotu for Life here, bringing you guys a hopefully brand new video. I might just be speaking to my microphone right about now. Uh, apparently the ban list is out. I was just refreshing my subs feed on on uh, YouTube because uh, I'm doing a bunch of stuff and I listen to YouTube while I'm doing other stuff. And I, I saw something from House of Champs. I'm not entirely sure if it's true, if he's just pulling a prank on us. And I read the title and I... I Things happen like I think they did, apparently. I only know possibly one thing, but the ban list apparently is out. Now, granted, here it says September 13th still, so I don't know if it's actually been updated or not, but we'll see. I'm not going to lie, my heart is a bit racing, and if I just got punked, I am going to be very, very mad. Okay. Okay. I did get lied to, apparently. September 17th. Unless. Did I get pranked? I think I did. Let's try Googling it again. Yu Gi Oh! Ban list. Oh, was it like the freaking OCG or something? Oh, okay, so it's... Wait, is this... Okay, so for some reason it's live on the UK website, but it's not on the, on the uh, American website. That is weird. Okay, so the ban list is live on the UK. Uh, website not on the American website and uh, for my fellow Americans this is confusing so uh, this is the month that's the day so uh, this is effective starting December 3rd already and I'm gonna be honest I hate how the how the UK has their uh, well Europe I guess is the correct term I hate how they have everything set up here they don't have everything color-coded and all that fun stuff but oh well so let's go on down Fire Laws banned! It's actually true! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I was wholeheartedly expecting to go into this ban list with Fire Law still being at one. Oh my god, they actually did it! Uh, I I'm gonna keep refreshing the American one just to see if it does actually update. Because I'm not gonna lie, considering the fact that the European one has updated, but the American one hasn't. It's kind of making me scared they're, they're going to branch off the ban list into three sections. Like, it's similar to how they branch it off to two between TCG and OCG. Okay, so they, they banned Firewall. Maxi is still banned. That thing should have gone to three. I'm going to fight. <laughs> I'm going to fight that argument to the day I die. Uh, let's see here. So Firewall is finally banned. You know, it was kind of funny, earlier today I was sorting through my cards, and I was like, you know, i kind of getting the feeling I want to play World Chalice again, but I'm only going to do it if Firewall is still legal and he's not, so I don't know if I will or not, but I don't know, I, still, I, might, I might revisit one of my favorite Link decks. So Firewall is banned, finally. Okay, uh, let's see here. At one now, Armageddon Knight. Okay, that makes sense. He's a one-card extra link. Honestly, I feel like Gumblar should have been banned, too. And Firewall was the only thing banned on this. Huh. That's interesting. So, Armageddon Knight is limited. Okay, I kind of saw that one coming. I wonder if they hit Azold at all. I I honestly don't want to see Azold get hit because I like the card so much. But at the same time, I understand why people really want her banned or limited. Okay, so Armageddon Knight. Nothing else so far? Wow, talk about a minimalist ban list. Uh, <laughs> Malicious is at two now. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming alongside it. So, so far only three hits on this ban list. That's such a small ban list so far. Firewall's banned. Uh, Armageddon Knight's at one. Uh, Destiny Hero Malicious is at two now. That's it. <laughs> and then everything that went to three, A, a Assault Core... Cosmo Dark Destroyer called by the grave. Okay. Wow, this is such a small ban list. Uh, considering how bad this ban, uh, this like past few formats have been, I was honestly expecting more. But at the same time, 
they they solved one of the biggest issues in the game. They got rid of Firewall. Okay, now I don't expect Firewall to be on the ban list for very long. It, it will not surprise me at all if within the next year or so, uh, heck, probably even sooner than that, we hear about an errata for him. I don't expect uh, Konami to let that card stay on the ban list for long. They need him for promotions, for frames, uh, and also there's still two alternate artworks for Firewall that the TCG has not gotten yet. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how to go about that. Um, on that note, Malicious going to two. Very, very good alongside uh, Armageddon Knight going to one. Uh, I feel like that people are just going to play more Dark Refers to make up for the Armageddon Knight. Now, granted, Dark Refer does need you to discard a card to be able to use its effect. Uh, so it's not as, you know, like really good as uh, has um, Armageddon Knight who just does it on summon. Um, so that's pretty good. And AS Core, good to see him back at three. Uh, with Firewall Ban, there's no reason for him to be limited. Uh, Dark Destroyer should have gone to three a long time ago. Cosmos aren't going to do crap. Called by the Grave, I I see why they hit it, but at the same time, it really was a stupid choice. Uh, Called by the Grave is pretty much the only super easy out against hand traps. And with as the dominant as hand traps are in the game right now, there is no reason for Called by the Grave to be at anything less than three. Uh, maybe if hand, maybe if Konami starts going after the hand traps and hitting them, I can see it. Uh, but however, called by the grave, it, it's one of the best outs to hand traps, and we need outs to hand traps. Uh, it's really kind of ridiculous how hand traps have made an entire third of the games of Yu-Gi-Oh's mechanics uh, just obsolete. So, uh, called by the grave, uh, countering those is really really good. Um, I really feel like they should have done more though. Like th this feels like a really sm this feels almost like too small. I don't know. I was expecting a bit more. Uh, I really wish they would have hit Gumblar. I you can still Gumblar extra link and just kill your opponent easily with that. Jeez, uh, what else should have gone hit? Oh yeah, they didn't touch Sky Strikers at all in this. Um, I feel like that's a bad mistake. Uh, now granted. Sky, Sky Strikers have seen a little bit of a falling out lately, but with uh, Firewall being banned, they m will probably see a resurgence. And I, I don't know. <laughs> I really feel like maybe uh, the Pot of Greed card for uh, Sky Strikers should have gone to two. I can't remember its name off the top of my head. Oh yeah, Engage. Uh, I really feel like it should have gone to two or something just to touch on the consistency of the deck a little bit. Uh, honestly, it really should have gone to one and at some point, but... However, I can see why they wouldn't have hit it, because Sky Strikers were falling out a teensy bit, not entirely. Uh, it's kind of funny, though, that Trickstar still haven't gotten touched at all, uh, with, especially with as many people hating on Reincarnation. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, I, I really like this ban list, but I still wish they kind of would have done more. I kind of expected more, especially since I was not expecting Firewall to get hit, and was really expecting them to hit just all the burn cards around them. But, hey, they hit Firewall. Thank God. Oh, my God. I, I, oh, God. So, yeah. And I still look back on that video I made defending Firewall. <laughs> it's like, I was so stupid. Oh, God. In any case, uh, what do you guys think of this ban list? Do you guys think that there's a chance that uh, Konami might be splitting the game into thirds now with Europe getting its own format, considering that the uh, North American ban list still has not been updated? Uh, or do you think that they might have just pressed the button too early? That That's a possibility, too. I'm going to check YGO org, see what they th think. Uh, was able to cast a spell. <laughs> Chaos Emperor is still not. Uh, oh yeah, they didn't unban Chaos Emperor. Now that might just be because he his errata text is not available in uh, Europe right now. Uh, so that's probably the reason why. Uh, but I digress. So what do you guys think of this new ban list? Do you think they should have hit more? Do you think they hit enough? Uh, what do you guys think? I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Uh, this is a really good ban list, I feel. Uh, again, I feel like they could have touched on more, like maybe Summon Sorceress, uh, which they obviously weren't going to touch because, uh, well, Europe being a thing, just getting Summon Sorceress in, what, like a few days. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Have a great day. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. See you all later. Peace out and goodbye.